This is the first print farm of US assembled Core 1 3D printers, and you're never gonna guess where it's at. I'm in Cleveland, Ohio at Magnet, and this Core 1 is the first US assembled Core 1 from printed solid, and it's going into the CMI print farm here at Magnet. It's one of eight. I'm gonna get it out of the box and take you through it because I have yet to do that. First, we gotta open the box. It's just, it's just tape. It's paper tape and cardboard and gummy bears, of course. We've got the build plate, the handbook, happy printing, and uh, oh, these are things we gotta save. We take out this top bit. It's been a while. <laughs> There's the power cord. So it has these cardboard handles in here and I'm able to just lift it out, but it's gonna be best if I put this on the ground first. Oh, that was easy. On to the next step. Each core one does ship with filament and this is PLA Galaxy Black Pru Cement. It's beautiful, beautiful filament, some of my favorite. The core one does come encased in a cardboard sleeve. It's pretty easy to take it out blow off the cardboard dust. It is on its side, so I can do that and then set it up right. We're literally almost done. This box is over the spool holder. I, I think it's a really cool way to save space in shipping. So there's the spool holder for the machine. The box has a hole in the bottom, so it just fits in that space. And inside the box, you're gonna have your tools, you're also gonna have the LCD, which goes on the front, and the USB stick to put all your Benchy files on, and um, you can recycle this. This sticker does say, don't use IPA on the clear panels. IPA or an alcohol-based solution will mar the panels. Don't do it. Really, just, just use some soapy water. That's gonna be the best way to do it. And now that we have that warning heated, we can take off the sticker. Next steps are the LCD. This is it. You can tell because it always tells you how to get home. There's uh, connectors on the back that these wires go into and then these two screws are what hold it on to the frame. So to install the LCD, first step is to loosen these screws just a bit, not all the way out, just enough to slide over the metal of the frame. And then next is attaching these bits. Now I've got big meaty fingers. I can still do it. And so if I can do it, you can do it. This arrow indicates where pin one goes and that, that red part of the cable is pin one, so those match up. And that little piece sticking out and it goes in this slot. And then if the stars have aligned, it works. So now you kind of back those cables in and then you, you back the cables in, come on. Oh. oh, now see, this isn't sliding down. And so this just has to be loosened a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. You have to tip the machine over to get to these screws. They're kind of they're kind of buried right here, but with the machine on its side, they're they're sort of easy to see. You just push some wires out of the way and then you tighten them up. Now you don't have to tighten this like you're going on the highway at 55 miles an hour. You just need to tighten it enough so that it doesn't dislodge from the frame. And that's it. And also, while the printer's on its side, it really gives you an easy opportunity to put on these feet. They are anti-vibration feet. They've got a little sticker on the back and then you place them in the four corners. Now remember here on earth we have gravity and gravity is gonna hold this printer down so you don't have to push really hard on these feet in order to get them to stick. It doesn't hurt to just kinda make sure those stickers are all touching the frame. Hard part's over. We're close. The next steps aren't really that difficult. You've got some cardboard bracing that holds the head in place. And then you just kind of easily take the cardboard out and the head is free to run. And lastly, I think it's important to get this build plate on. You just take it out. There it is. It's slotted. So you just put it back and it hits the pins and then it's nice and lined up. It's magnetic. Close the door, 
and really you're good to go. There is a power cord and you just put it on the machine because that's gonna be needed in order to bring power to it. There's something over here, let me show you. One of eight is done, but there's seven more on the pallet that we need to get set up. And it's not just me. Thankfully, I've got some friends here at Magnet to help. <laughs> oh, there we go. We did it! The eight Prusa Core ones assembled right here in the United States are on the racks behind me. And the green lights mean everything is configured, the benchies are printed, and we are good to go. This is what a print farm for the CMI, or Community Manufacturing Initiative, looks like. And that's right here in Cleveland, Ohio, at Magnet. And if you're in the area, you could probably come by and see it. But don't worry, a lot of these are gonna be springing up all over the place, and you're gonna to get to see eight core ones, you're gonna to get to see a bunch of Jesse PLA, you're gonna to get to see these helping out the communities that they're in. And it's really exciting, and I can't wait for you to see it. So uh, listen, thanks for making it this far. If you did, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for cause you believe in it, print all the things. And as always, high five. Oh, go this way. <laughs>